We got our box. Look how big, it's bigger than I am. If crypto trading is the thing that you're wanting. Look at that. Look at that on the inside of that. Look at this. Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. I'm Mike and today I'm going to show you how to choose your crypto exchange. The first thing that you need to do when choosing your exchange, you need to make sure that it's supported in your country. What that means is that you have access to that particular exchange because in some countries you can't access some exchanges. Like America and Canada, you can't ex access Binance.com. Here in New Zealand, you can't access Coinbase to trade on. So it's important that you know the exchange is supported in your country. Otherwise, you won't be able to have access to that exchange to trade on because some countries restrict usage of some exchanges. Now that you establish the exchange and it's supported by your country, the next thing that you are gonna want to look for is volume. When trading on an exchange, you want a exchange with good volume. And why do we need good volume? Because good volume represents good productivity on the exchange. Also means when a coin dumps, the volume increases the price of that coin back up. If you need more information on exchanges and volume and many other things to do with cryptocurrency, then go to coin market cap shown here. Now that you have found an exchange that is supported in your country and you also found that the exchange has good volume, then you want to check that your exchange gives advanced technical indicators. Those for of you that trade on Binance, you know that you get extensive access to the technical indicators. If your exchange don't give you access to advanced technical indicators, try getting onto TradingView or, or another spot like TradingView that is free and use those to access those technical indicators. So now you're ready to choose your exchange. Just remember to choose an exchange that is supported in your country. Two, one that has plenty of volume. Three, ones that give you access to technical indicators. Just remember with the volume, go to coin market cap. For technical indicators you can't get on your exchange, go to trading view or other free options like that. So that's the end of this video. If you like this type of content, please give us a thumbs up. Or if you're not haven't described, subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification because we put out videos all the time. If you got any questions, put it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, peace.